There are certain lessons in life that one never forgets. Even lessons about lessons. Well, I remember my son's first lesson in Japanese calligraphy. Hold the brush loosely, like so. Let it be an extension of subtle desire. Let the expression of what you envision flow naturally from your mind. Through your fingers, to brush, and onto the paper. My hero! Allow me to check upon your progress. Leonardo, very well done, my son. Very well done, indeed. Mm, figures! Thank you, Master Splinter. Donatello, a bit too geometric. Let your precision be more a flourish than the result of an equation. Mm. Raphael, hmm. Your frustration gets the best of you. Sit back and engage in deep breath relaxation before beginning again. And Michelangelo, how do you... Michelangelo, what is the meaning of this? Michelangelo, you have spent the entire lesson drawing comic books. Worse still is that your cartoons show you and your brothers walking about in human society, dressed in human clothing, and even having human fingers. You know that this can never be, that as ninjas and as mutants we can never walk amongst man. Return to your calligraphy lesson at once. <laughs> Sorry, Sensei. Later that night, while my children slept, I found more of Michelangelo's comic book pages. At first, I became quite irritated. Hmm. Closer inspection of his drawings, however, led me to feel something altogether different. I came to realize that these stories represented a child's most natural desires. To blend in. To not be different. To be a normal child. Doing normal things. That, in addition to the fact that his art really was quite good, and something well worth nourishing. <laughs> the next morning. M Mikey, look! A box with your name on it! What? Really? Let me see. Yo, check it out, bros! Art supplies! Kawabunga! It is the end of the story. <laughs>